Welcome back to KOTOR 2. Now, some things have changed. Um, I adjusted a bunch of the graphical settings to try, because I noticed it was still getting choppy and it was clearly KOTOR. So I tried adjusting a bunch of the settings and um, as well as going into the source code and allowing the fact that I can cheat because Rook is a nightmare. I don't want to have to cheat. I'm going to do my absolute best to uh, f fight him like a cow first. <laughs> um, but the important part is I've unlocked all of that stuff. I've given it a shot. Now, I changed all the graphical settings. This is the second time I've attempted to film this. So I changed all the settings, started filming, and then when it started the next cutscene again, it uh, crashed. And then when I tried to change the settings back, it crashed again. And then it crashed again. And it crashed again. So I've now gone into the source code and the INI file, I guess, of the source code. I don't think it has... Regardless, I went into the INI file and I set it up so now it has windowed mode enabled. Because this game does not have a windowed mode function. So I gave it a windowed mode function, and now it is a windowed mode. Uh, and I'm hoping that'll make it less fucky. We'll see. Now, with all these changes, we still have to... Oh! With all these changes, I have to do... Uh, we still have to go try and fight Vrook. Um, back to what we did for... What did I do? I enabled all the droids. I threatened the fishman. I disabled all the turrets instead of... Uh, sending them to shoot the other the the, the civilians. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all I did. Because I wanted to get experience. Are you ready? I needed experience. I won't wait. Oh, that's great. Uh, let's do this. You heard that? Come on. <clears throat> this is time for the real test. Because this is where things start crashing. All right, everything's. I mean, it's playing the cutscene, but I don't like that it's not showing the cutscene for you guys. What the fuck? I'm damaging him now. It's just so minimal. I'm gonna die. Yes. Alright. So, I, I clicked it already. Do it. So, with that in mind... I'm going to try something else. Just a sec. I want to see if I can actually leave the planet. Just... <laughs> fuck the fuck off. Uh, and if I can't... I have other plans. Oh, I can give him a ship. Ooh, that's right. Disciples going to have some things to say, I guess. And I need to get evil. More evil. What are you studying? The more worlds we travel to, the more questions I have. It's not huh? just the hardships of the people, but something more. Uh, go on. Um, uh, people suffer all the time. You can't save everyone, and often you weaken them if you try. You are right. But there That's is more of a neutral thing to say here. than an evil thing, but whatever. There's something about the word worlds themselves, isn't there? Yes. These dead worlds, they... Well, they have a pattern to them. They were all touched by the Mandalorian Wars and the Jedi Civil War. But sometimes, well, I feel as if they are all connected in some other way. The attacks on Katar, Telos itself, the decay on Dantooine. Something is wrong with life. The connections have been damaged, sickened. Sometimes I feel like I almost understand and then it just slips away. So close. Hey. Alright, um... If we visit all these worlds, more would become clear. Perhaps. Dantooine is only one of the worlds. It was only the start of the journey. I would like to study the other locations. It is curious that the Jedi Masters chose those worlds to travel to. I wonder if the two are linked. I mean, no logically. Alright, well, I'm assuming that means I have to go speak to Katara about something now. Not Katara. Kraya. What the fuck? Katara is a completely different thing. Hey, Kraya. How many more do we intend to gather to us? Uh, this one more. This ship is not the galaxy. There is only so much room. 
Uh, only as many as I need, and only as many will sacrifice themselves to me. Then prepare for an army, I think. Excellent. For it seems many more will come in time. They will follow you because you are a leader. Uh, Their kind always needs such, even when the figure deserves no such obedience. Um, I'm no leader. No, perhaps not. Or perhaps you are different, something more. Uh, I am not blind. I see what they see, hear their voices when they speak to you, and notice the change when they speak to others. What? Does the fact that they obey me upset you? I know many things, and I know what I am not. I am no leader. Mm. I speak with a voice that will never move others. I speak with a passion that goes unheard. Okay. They obey you because you are a leader, and perhaps something more. Mm. Have you noticed what has been happening? Have you felt it in them? Ah, uh, they're going to my alignment? Yes, I've noticed that. Is something happening to them? They echo you, either fighting or surrendering to their feelings, their loyalty, their duty. Your mere presence serves as an example to them of something to uphold or something to fight against. Mm -hmm. Watch depending, on your, depending on your depending on your influence with them. Patterns and recognize the strength in it. Influence can be a weapon, one that you may need before your journey is done. Oh, but I shouldn't have as many people with me? God, you... Contradictory points. And what about you? I? I am but a mirror whose only purpose is to show you what your own eyes cannot yet see. You look nothing like me, though. I will look, think upon how my allies may be used, then. Good, and then act upon it. It is a powerful tool to motivate others. That was Revan's way, I believe. It was a strength. Hmm. What do you mean? A discussion, <sighs> for another time. Fine. Fine. Any uh, questions? I mean, obviously we don't have any influence with her. I've been going out of my way to get the opposite. Hey, do you bonus back? Damn it! Why is giving that dude the item in a non-threatening manner that fucking positive to my karma. Where? Oh, there's to say. Yes? Is something wrong? Um, uh, what are you doing? At times, I meditate. Simply close my eyes and listen. That's not what you were it's doing. It's quite calming. I try to treasure these moments before the next crisis begins. It's gonna happen often. I ordered you to tell me how to do the same. Of course. It would be my pleasure. You've reco you have recovered force points and a one-time bonus to your force points your force point through meditation. You can meditate with a disciple at any time if no enemies are nearby. Oh, okay. I try to treasure these moments before... Yeah, you already said that. Uh, no questions. Well. Familiar to me. I imagine... Hmm. I lost influence with disciple. Well, that's not good. I guess it was the ordering and thing. Damn it! That's one of the biggest issues with the going to the next fight thing. My karma. Yes, general. Uh, nope, nothing. Okay. I'm gonna try... Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna talk to Atten. I feel like Atten has something to say about us recruiting Disciple. Let's get that feeling. Godo probably does too. And... Good. Something up? Well, never mind then. I guess we have nothing interesting to talk about. How wonderful. Alright, well, in that case, um, I'm gonna go back outside, I'm gonna come back in. And that's why. <laughs> I don't think Kray had... Oh, I guess that is what Kray has equipped. Is there? Ah, oh, shit. Be he things, lost... But for a moment. He lost and I lost enough influence with him that he went back to good there. Hmm. Okay. For any reason, you're tormenting disciple. Yep. Like really tormenting disciple.
Jedi. Hey, why can't she do this when I need her to in battle? I guess she does have a really high stealth, so she probably can. Betrayal. All thoughts of me will slide from your vision, from your mind, like water. He knew her. You know who I am, but you will be unable to voice it, to remember it. What does a Jedi see? Only what I allow them to see. Disciples of Jedi. Great. Interesting. You got anything to say about that, disciple? Yes. Is something wrong? Very well. Hmm. Right. Interesting. Very interesting. <clears throat> I don't know if I have... I don't think it's... I'm karmically aligned to get disciple to like me. But I'm going to try. Because some people, it's really hard to be pure evil and have them be on your side. Holy shit, it's still more to go, eh? Okay, what do you got for me? Is this going to be a conversation with me, at least? Or anyone? Oh, nope, still you getting tormented by Kraya. At last, you understand, tiny Jedi. You? Who are you? What are you doing on this sh Enough. What did you see in the web of worlds that have died? What did you see when you saw it through the Force? I see the death of the galaxy. Of life. At first, I thought it was just conquest. But it's more terrible than that. It's an echo, spreading outwards, killing everything. It's not possible. You are a wasted pawn of the Republic, young one. You could have been so much more, even with your wide-eyed innocence your naive love for others. Now you understand the magnitude of what is being done. I know you. Not even the markings of the dark side can hide it. Why have you done this? I? Do you think I seek the death of all living things? There is no victory in such things. I do not want to win our war like this, little Jedi. When I win, I wish it to be because I was right, my teachings true. How long have you been here? Among us. You know the truth. Than I have you always have. been here, watching and listening to the echo you have found. You know its source and what must be done. I will not let you hurt her. Little Jedi, you cannot stop me. But you will forget this. Your mind is worse than the others, so open, so trusting. Your feelings for her are your weakness. Yet I, I will feelings. gift you with this. You will remember what you have discovered when the time is correct. No, I know was just sitting but here you have this seen what formerly That's only I knew. Nice of him. Now we shall see if you have the strength to stop what comes. What? Alright, let's figure out what the hell he's talking about. Alright. Disciple have anything new to say now? Yes, is something wrong? Apparently not. Alright, what about Kraya? Does Kraya have something new to say now? Maybe she wants to encourage me to try and unlock the secrets of the disciple. Is she with Hanhar? Yes. Have you come with questions? I guess not. Who else is there to ask? Um, Hanhar doesn't care. Goto? Yes. Is there something you wish to do for me? Ah, uh, no. No. Alright. I'm gonna try... I'm gonna... Probably, this should be the last time I need to go outside and come back into the ship and have it display some sort of hand heart. Display anything. Let's find out. And back into the ship. Then again? Okay, good. That was the last one. Alright. Now, for the real reason I came to the ship. Let's go to a different planet. Uh, so all we've left, other than Dantooine, because I'm not finishing Dantooine right now, apparently, is Onderon and Korriban. Oh, Korriban, Onderon. Hmm. Dr 
Drisha settlement. As far as we know in Corbon, we land in the excavation zone. We don't actually really run into any... Spoilers. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go there because I want to try and increase my dark side karma before I go there. Which means we're going to head to Onron and we're going to get locked into Onron before I can go back and finish off Dantooine. But then I'm going to come back and kill Vrook's ass. Alright, well, you've already seen this cutscene, so it's good that you can't there, but it's still really annoying. I'm gonna try adding this. Oh, it reset all of the cutscenes. But I figured out the problem. There we go. Apparently, the issue is when it starts playing the cutscenes, it opens a completely new window inside of the game window. So I have it set to window capture in OBS for the game. But the cutscenes aren't in that window anymore, so it's just like, eh, you don't get to see them anymore. But here we go. Here's what you missed. So now I have two window captures set up, one for the game and one for the cutscenes. That is quite the blockade we're dealing with there. Well, this is Onderon. Mm. Looks like there's a long line to get into the Isis starport. Mm -hmm. Something feels wrong here. A great disturbance here in orbit, and again on the planets below. I guess okay. this blockade is a symptom of larger problems on Onderon. Looks like we're about to find out. I'm oh. receiving a message from some Colonel Tobin, patching it through. The Ebon Hawk. I was told to expect your arrival. I don't know your business on Onderon, but it ends here. That's rude. That's really rude. No. Okay, we gotta go. We've taken some hits. Yeah, that's we can try not... to fight back, or I can outrun them and hide us on the jungle moon nearby. It's your call. I don't know. I mean, I get the. We better run to the moon. No, no, no. I'll man the turret. Keep her steady. Let's do this. Come back. Alright, they're everywhere. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I can't. Okay, what what did we say about keeping her steady at? Yeah, one of six destroyed. Where the hell? Two, there we go. I don't know why we just got rocked to the side like that. Uh hey. Yes. Don't like it. Okay, whoop, there we go. Gotta use that radar the best we can. Yes. Come on, two more, two more. Where the hell are they? Oh, there's one. Oh, fuck you. Yes. Get your ass back here. Pretty sure that bar in the bottom right is my health. Alright, move little guy. Okay. Apparently, when we move, they move. Whew. I did it. I think I almost died, but I did it. Aha! I can't keep us in one piece much longer. Oh, crap. Sorry to spoil your fun, but we've got to land now. I'm gonna Fine. put us down on that jungle moon. Fine. But I had so much fun killing everybody. Sort of. To the jungle moon of not Endor. The jungle mood on around. And now we cannot leave the jungle mood of Onderon until we finish Onderon. So. Hope we're ready. It's a pretty beautiful shot, though. I like that. That a lot. You know, just once I wish someone was glad to see us. But no, if it isn't Sorry. weapons pointed at our heads, it's someone trying to blast us out of the sky. Hmm. Alright, um, how badly is it ah, How badly is the ship damaged? It's taken a little damage, nothing too serious. Okay. I'm shutting down all unnecessary systems until we make repairs. It'll keep us from being a target. Hmm. Any idea where we are? Looks like one of the moons of Onderon. Not sure which one. 
the jungle. jungle and mountain. Ah. I did pick up the remains of an old outpost near here. Maybe mm. that's why there's all these clearings <laughs> around. Maybe they were once settlements. There were no settlements here. Those clearings were most likely once craters or crash sites. Crash sites? This is Duxon, where the Mandalorians began their crusade against the Republic. The remains of whatever outposts you detected here are military ones. Hmm. You should be careful. <clears throat> this is where the Mandalorian War started? This doesn't look like much of a battlefield. Oh, much shit. Is buried here, and there is much that should remain buried. Okay. Great. What now? Well, the space battle's still going on overhead. Since they were so eager like how, to use our hull for target practice, I yeah. doubt they're just going to forget us. Why is uh, it the Republic like ship it. decided to attack us and everyone went to war all of a sudden? But even out I don't here, understand how that works, but whatever. Us. We're lucky I was able to find this place to land. Looks like something has cleared away the jungle in a few spots around here. Yeah, combat. Um, Where do we land? Looks like one of the moons of... I did oh, that's the same thing. Yeah, I thought that's... The yeah, opposite novel we just asked. <sighs> okay, um, we need to get to Onderon. Until the ship is repaired, we're not going anywhere. Unless you can find another route to Onderon, we should sit tight. There Actually, may be a can. means to get to Onderon by another route. The Force has guided us here for a reason. We should explore our surroundings. There is something here. <clears throat> something? Oh, there's something here, all right. Predators. Not small flit darters, but big, mean, nasty predators. Mm. Nevertheless, we should explore our surroundings. And that nearby outpost would be as good a place as any to begin. Mm. Alright, let's head to the outpost then. Well, if you go, be careful. No telling what other ships were forced down in the battle. I have a feeling the ship will not be repaired until our business here is concluded. Do I make myself clear? Yeah. I'm sorry, what? I understand. What's so important about this place? This I mean, is where the Mandalorian yeah. Wars began. She fought here once. And there are things here she must see. She fought here? Why didn't she say anything? Do you speak of all your battles? He doesn't speak of any of them, actually. Or are there some you wish to forget? All of them? Our cutscenes cut off at weird times. Hey, there's that level. Alright, skills. I'm up in my repair, because I love T3, and I want things to go well for him. Uh, ignore pain. There we go. Grab that. Make it easier for me to hit things. Two weapons. Uh, lightning. Uh, wait, hold on. So there's an achievement for getting only all the dark side powers. Just want to make sure here. It's mostly light side at the top. Okay, so I need to get wound, slow, shock. And that's it. Those are the only ones I have left to get. Fully are wound, slow, shock. Well, I mean, and that. Is drain force dark side? It is. Alright, so I gotta finish off drain force. I have to get slow. Nope. I have to get shock, slow, which becomes plague and kill. Uh, none of those need to matter though. Okay. So these three I need to fully upgrade and that one. In order to get the achievement for getting all the dark side powers. So let's work on that. <sighs> let's see if anyone wants to talk about Duxon. Perhaps Bayo? Yes, General. Guess not. Alright, cool. Let's go. Okay, can't bring Atten with me because he's repairing the ship. Gonna bring... Baodur? Yeah, I'm gonna bring Baodur because this is his planet and Disciple. Let's do this. Because I want to get Disciple to like me. It's not gonna be easy. Oh good, we're all fighting the same way. There's some predators over there. Okie dokie. So welcome to Duxon. Can't go that way. Interesting. Can't go that way. <laughs> Alright, what's up this way? I like the fog that's going on here. Sort of. I don't remember seeing that before. Stopping my draw distance. It's probably helping in the long run for recording at least, so I like that. Let's go kill some Canucks. Insanity! Well, I hit the one. I'm just gonna... Death Field! Go for it. Wham! Not a lot of damage. Well, actually, hold on. No, no. That's not what I'm doing. There we go. I'm trying to do that. There we go. And I'm also going to force Scream afterwards. Well, maybe I don't need to. 
<laughs> there we go. We're back to being overpowered. Fucking Vrook and his stupid inability to get hit bullshit. Oh, 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 oh. Remains. Neat. Alright. So what do we got going on over here? I'm assuming this just connects with the other path? Oh. I guess not. Much longer path than I anticipated. What the shit? Something crashed here. Okay. That's interesting. Also hyenas for some reason. Ah. Connects and their cat predators. That cat predator is not having a good time. Let's just throw in some insanity. Also, let's hit him first, I guess. Alright, well, that's rude. Hey, look, more Canucks. I don't know why I want to call them Canucks, considering I'm a Canuck. <laughs> Technically. Is it? Okay, I thought his head was still moving, and that was disconcerting. Alright, boys. Time to level you up. Bam. Yeah, there's your one skill point. And then Bayodur is literally the exact opposite for skill points. Oh, shit. There's nothing to give you. Is there? Um... I mean, yeah, plus the saving throws. That sounds perfect. We can do that. Boop, 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 boop. And he still has extra skull points. Mind blowing. Alright. There we go. Let's get moving. That's a droid. What are the droids there for? I got some news. Oop. The space battle is still going on. The Hawk sensors just picked up a contact heading to the moon. Oh. Also, the ship systems are powered down, so it's about all I got. That ship may have landed nearby, though. Or it may be on the other side of the moon. It landed you might nearby. Want to prepare for another friendly Onderon welcome. Mm hmm. It landed nearby. I'm assuming that's the ship we're supposed to be preparing to meet with. Maybe. Uh, let's head this way then. Since I don't know which way is the proper way, and we just have so many different directions to go. Perfect. Something just blew up. I don't know what it was though. Take down. Oh, shit. Do you want it? The old remote droid has been eaten away by the jungle. Even if it was repaired, you need access to the computer that controls it. Okay. I gotta find the control turret. There we go. There's another destroyed droid. Interesting. Sure. Okay, well, I guess they got that handled. Is this the way I'm supposed to be going? I don't know which way is the proper way, quote unquote. That makes me sad, because I want to know. I want to explore everywhere on this damn planet. I will eventually get the chance to explore everywhere on this damn planet. Moon. We're on a planet. We're on a moon. We're on Pluto. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> see what we're dealing with here. Yep. That's right, motherfucker. Kill him. Hit him. There we go. There's a droid up here. What if that ship back there was the way of controlling the droids? And going forward is not what I want to do. Maybe. Who knows? Perfect. Alright, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try going all the way back and see if I can activate those robots. From back there. Because it feels kind of... Ooh, another Gamorian axe. Uh, Hanhar's going to enjoy that. Um, it feels weird that we have these droids here that I can activate from a terminal, but I can't activate them until after I get 
If I clear out everything around them, that, that seems illogical. So I'm going to try... And, uh, ooh. Remains. What this one eat? A Mandalorian power shield. I mean, it makes sense this place to be filled with Mandalorian shields. This is where the Mandalorian Wars started and all that. Is this not where... More us. Ooh, hello, kitty. Bad kitty. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, that cat went down much easier than anticipated. The wildlife here is not much of a threat, apparently. Which is interesting. Salvageable parts. Components, parts, components. Okay. Skeletal corpse. Dead Republic pilot, blaster rifle. Raven says we must take ducks in. Our wing of military droid carriers are, too f are to fly Lin low, drop our payload into the jungle moon. Once the droids hit dirt, dirt side, they'll seek out the Mandalorian base and pave the way for our ground troops. And the Jedi, we're expecting heavy resistance. And if the droids can't take out the anti-air turrets, this is going to be one short mission. We cannot fail. If we do, the Republic is lost. Well, actually, from the looks of it, you failed. But the Republic was not lost. Uh, yeah, repair that. Nay! No droids. Bam, look at you. Nope. Uh, switch. Droid menu? Droid menu, that one. Okay. I'm not overloading any of these guys. Oh, hey, it's the, it's the other ship that landed. We got told we have to report for that. There it is. Uh, repair computer core. Okay, there we go. Uh, droids available for primary function. Turn to root menu. System commands. Okay. I can't do anything, though. I can just blow them up. Which is pointless, because there's nothing near them. Well, alright then. Adam's lost my gain experience. So I guess, yay, experience. <sighs> Maybe, oh, you wonder what it might be? I might have just done that to activate them, and then I can... Is it now that I can activate these guys? Yeah. Damage with the remote controller is now active. Um, let's do that. Wow, yeah. Yeah, I kind of figured that was going to cost more parts than I had. Since I have two. Well, there we go. Now we know what we have to do. What we can do. We can activate all the droids and then they'll start rushing up here towards wherever they think the Mandalorian base used to be. Wherever they know the Mandalorian base used to be. Um, killing everything along the way. Which at this point is just Predators. But I don't have what it takes to activate that. He looks almost Orbital invisible. Fighting just ended. Mm -hmm. That Colonel Tobin stirred up a Minox nest when he took a shot at us. True. We're still working on the repairs, and I have to take down some systems, including sensors. So you have to do without me for a while. It still begs the question. Crushed. Why? Why did anyone start a war because he shot me? Why did everyone else lose their fucking minds? This one is mine. Say that, disciple. But me and Bayo got him. Ooh, okay. It's like, well, why are you still yelling at us? It's kind of rude. Don't take kindly to people being rude. Uh, ooh, remains. Not remains. Come on, I want remains. Yeah, remains. What do we got? Okay. Yeah. There they are. They're probably not happy with the fight that made them crash land here. Not happy in the slightest. Luckily, it's a chance for me to be evil to people. Which, uh, will give me that negative karma I require. Hi there. You have led us a very fine chase, human. The battle above was your doing, yes? Our ship is quite damaged now. Okay. Throw down your weapons, yes? Your bounties are worth more if you're still very much alive. Um, I didn't start the space battle. Your view is narrow, human. The battle was your responsibility, whether you admit it or not. In some sense, we are doing you a favor. The reception you would receive on Dondurant would be a cold one. What do you mean? You have caught the eye of someone very powerful on Dondurant, and he wants you dead. If you do not need to worry about that now. Okay, who are you? I am Dezanti Zug. You've heard of the Zug family? Yes, we are bounty hunters. Very effective, very famous. I killed a bunch of you. Dezanti? Never heard of him. Your ignorance is of no consequence, human. You will not, you will be educated shortly. There's no way I'm going to surrender to you. Very well, then. Bounties are very, quite, lo even, quite large, even if you are damaged and lifeless. Attack, my brothers. That's adorable. 
just adorable. Defend yourself. Yeah, you guys are fucked. Yeah, I just killed your leader without any breaking a sweat, and you guys have yet to damage us. Oh, you got a bow staff. We also have death. Yeah, he's done. Hmm. Poor Zug family. See, I thought that was going to be the Zug family, just because it seems to be what that species is doing. Every time we've run into them so far, if they haven't been NPCs, they've been, uh, or if they haven't been just randomly sitting guests doing fuck all, uh, they've been, what am I stuck on? Uh, they've been the Zug family trying to hunt down and kill me. Is there anything to pick up around there? Is there any loot that way? But there's loot over here, so I guess that's going to help me decide to go this direction. Because there's these things. But I can't loot. Fine. This looks lootable. But sure. Just loot that one then. Mad. Uh-huh. Whoa. What the hell is this thing? Well, it's got a wisdom save. Or will save, sorry. Oh. It had some health, too. Or I missed. I thought I hit him and I did, like, no damage. Young Luma. Interesting. Why was that thing so so hardy, first of all? Second of all, damaged like that. Like, it clearly took a lot of damage. Ooh, another dead Republic soldier. Hidden Mandalorian anti-air turrets forced us to crash outside the landing zone. We lost half our troops to beasts streaming out of the jungle. And the rest of us are getting hammered by Mandalorian emplacements. We're pinned down, cut off from command, and the thumping of the big guns haven't died down for hours. Where are those damn Jedi? I'm working on it. Probably. Apparently I did fight on this planet, so it makes sense that I'd be working on it. One thing's for sure, I definitely did not flee from a fight. I only do that against the Jedi Masters. I mean... Don't look at me like that. Vrick was a nightmare, I couldn't hit him, it's not my fault. I'm just... I'm leveling up by doing something else. And going to Korriban before Onderon just didn't make sense. There's reasons, and they will make sense when they happen. You for let now, the ship it... escape. I will deal with your failure later, Captain. But for oh. now, find that ship. Our ally has indicated that the Jedi hasn't left the system yet. Send a detachment to Duxon. Oh, if that's you going to badly for you. Anything, alert me immediately. Now get out of my sight. Who's your ally now? Why do I get to know that? Uh oh. Where's, where's my west? There's my west. Let's push the wrong button. Ah, there we go. Ah, more Canucks. 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 I both like and dislike how their health bar is always above this, because right now it's really hard to see that close to the top bar. I can't move. Here's my loot game. Disappointing. Yeah. What are we dealing with here? Well, that looks fun. Oh, hey, more cats. Oh, jeez, that was quite the ambush. What is... They have, like, a snake neck. They're snake cats. With bird feet? Man, this is an animal. And it's a dead animal. That is some anatomy they got there, though. You see the body of a Mandalorian soldier. He was killed in the last three or four days. Isn't that interesting? Ooh, another Mandalorian Heavy Blaster. Ad would love that if he was currently here. Ducks and Cash Door? The door is impenetrable and anything short of a high grade explosive. Well, fuck. There's probably something good in there then if I need a high grade explosive. Insanity! Well, I got one of them. Just hit him then. Or sit there and wait for him to come to you. This one is mine. I mean, it works. You have left me an opening! Disciple, you keep yelling these things. Why is Bayo being so quiet? Bayo, you can talk over the loud mouth if you want. This... Yeah, this looks recent. Oh, that'd be why. Hold it right there. We've got you surrounded. I'm Good for you. I'm surprised you got this far. The jungle doesn't usually let its prey go that easily. What are you doing here? Um, Mandalorian's killed my brethren. Why should I even talk to you? 
What are you doing on Duxon? We claimed this moon decades ago, when we reforged ourselves after Exar Kun's defeat. Some of us call it home. Why are you trespassing here? Ah, uh, well, I crash landed, and we were forced to land here. We expected as much. You visit Duxon by choice. Yeah. We have orders to escort you to our camp. <laughs> our leader wants to speak to you. Good for him. We're not finished exploring yet. You are coming with us. I'm supposed to escort you peacefully, but the alternative is quite acceptable. So your choice is follow us as our guest, or see how Mandalorians have earned their reputation. Would you like to see how I earned my reputation? It's by killing Mandalorians in the Mandalorian War. <clears throat> I don't know if I can handle all these guys. That's the thing. But I really want to try. But I haven't saved, so... If I had saved right before walking over there, I would have been 100% down to give that a shot. But not yet. Hmm. Welcome to the Mandalorian camp. <laughs> fighting, fighting, fighting. Stop. Bow. <laughs> well, someone's getting cut the fuck up. Oh. Having themselves a sword fight over there, apparently. Good for that. <clears throat> Hello. Big silver. What can I do for you? Bright one. So you're the intruder. Our sensors picked up your handiwork in space. I you got the same voice, voice, you got the same voice actor for Candorous Order. He's I'm pretty sure that's the same voice actor. Sounds an awful lot like uh, Candorous did in the first game. I mean, it would make sense that they would want to have uh, a Mandalorian character be played by the exact same character, be the exact same person. Um, so they were disbanded. Uh, scattered, perhaps, but we're still alive, alive and rebuilding. Hmm. Um, I thought Mandalorians were just. Yeah, the only ones I've seen are thugs. Many Mandalorians have fallen from the path of honor and are now no more than common mercenaries. Okay. But that is changing. Okay. What is this place? Oh, gotcha. Yeah, no, what is this, this place? This used to be the heart of the Mandalorian war effort. From this complex, we commanded an armada that had the Republic on the run. It didn't mm. last. No, I joined the fight. Uh, why'd you use Duxon? Mandalorians have a rapport with this jungle. Every moment here is a struggle. All creatures gripped in a constant war for survival. The sole purpose of the weak is to feed the strong. We train here and learn the lessons of the jungle. The beasts also help us keep our edge. Alright. <sighs> uh, camp looks like it's seen better days. Covert camps are not meant to attract attention. Because we yeah. conquered them, the people of Onderon still hold a grudge against the Mandalorians. So we keep our presence here a secret. That makes sense. Trying to get to Onderon, do you know how I can get there? So it's transportation you want. It so happens I have a small shuttle that's more than capable of running the Onderon military blockade. I make okay. occasional trips to Isis for information and supplies. If you want to go with me, you're going to have to prove your worth. Am I? How can I prove myself? Figure it out yourself. Ask around. Hmm. See if you can make yourself useful. Or something that'll show what you're made of. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, if, you, if you're going to make me help out, at least give me something. There is one thing. Before your ship landed, we were preparing some demolition work. All the activity forced my men to stop before they finished. The uh -huh. charges need to be detonated before anybody comes across them, so all you'd have to do is flip the switch. Sounds too easy. You asked if there was anything you could do, and I told you. Nothing uh -huh. in this jungle is as simple as it seems, though. Alright, I'll see what I can do. I'll let Kex know that you check out. We found more gear than we can use, so you can trade with him if you need some more supplies. Be careful in the jungle. Our patrols have stopped until the space traffic dies down. The challenging beasts have been cleared from the area, but what's left might still be too much for you. Uh, yeah, it's not going to be too much for me. Alright, that's going to be the end of this episode. I'm over an hour now, so it only makes sense. Um, so now we're on Duxon. We've met Mandalore, I guess. Uh, I'm assuming it's just someone who took up the mantle because he wanted to finally rebuild his people. Same voice actor as Candorous Ordo. Thank you, Disciple, for moving my camera around. That was weird. Um, 
he just wants to rebuild the Mandalorians, and I guess he wants us to help him refix up this camp before we can go down to Onderon. Great! So look forward to that. You guys have yourselves a wonderful night.